the first thing you will need to do is to insert the mitten through the hole opening. So go ahead and do that very carefully. Perfect, just like that. And now we are going to place the seven stitches that you have on the stitch holder. You are going to place those stitches on those first seven pegs. So let's go ahead and do that. I go one, one by, one. by one, grab it, place it on the first peg, perfect, the next one, place it on the next peg, The next one, grab it off the stitch holder, place it on the peg. Oops, two of them came out. Place it on the peg. And then the last one. There you go. That's seven stitches that are back on the knitting loom. Now push those stitches down so they don't come off. The flap from the mitten, make sure that you also push it down through the hole. This may be a little tricky because the mitten is already knitted and it's quite thick. So make sure that you do it nice and carefully with your fingertips simply insert it through from the back. Grab it and push it through. Perfect. Just like that. Now you have seven stitches on the loom. Now we need to pick up the other seven stitches from the for the opposite side and then two stitches for each of the two sides. Let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. So reach in. You are trying to find the edge that has the E-wrap cast on that you did. It's right here. right there. So now locate the first one, place it on the first bag, right there. Next one, you're just picking up the loops. Next bag, let me switch the view so that you can see. Next wrap. That one right there. And the next one. right there and you have two pegs that are empty seven two pegs empty seven and then the other two pegs are empty grab your yarn make a slip knot and place it on any of the pegs I'm gonna just place it right there Perfect. 
Now I'm ready to knit. But what to do with those two empty pegs? You are going to reach in and you're going to grab one of the loops, one of the strands that is going from one peg to the other, and you're going to twist it around to create a loop. Place it on the peg. You're going to do the same with the other strand right next to it. Grab it, twist it around, place it on the peg. There we go. Now let's go ahead and knit. Round. And around the other side. Now again, we approach the spot where we have the two empty pegs. We are going to reach inside. I'm going to find the strands going from one peg to the next. Let's make sure we leave the working yarn towards the outside. Perfect. Let's see. It's one. Twist it around and place it on the peg. The next one, twist it around and place it on the peg. There we go. Now keep knitting. Throw that tail to the inside so you don't get confused. Nice work. Right there you have reached the last peg for the round. And that is how we set up the stitches back on the loom for the to create the hole, the thumb hole. Now you will now you will continue knitting around for let's say anywhere from 14 to 18 rows so that you can have the length necessary for to create the thumb and then you are able to just bind off the thumb by doing a simple gather bind off method just like you did on the main part of the mitten. I have knitted a few rounds already for the thumb can see it right there. Now I am going to show you how I decrease the The first thing the I like thumb. to do is to move the end piece, one of the end pieces in, just like that, one extra peg. And then I like to move one right there, and then the one on the opposite side too. Right there. Perfect. Now I have two extra, two less pegs. Go ahead and continue knitting in the round for a couple of more rows. Turning the loops on those pegs that have two loops as one loop. So one, there's that peg right here that I decreased on. Simply perfect. Now continue knitting in the round. And now instead of having 18 stitches, 
you only have 16. Continue knitting in the round for another three rounds. I have knitted a few rounds more. Now I am ready to remove the item from the knitting loom and I'm just going to use the gather removal method. So for this, leave about a 10 inch yarn tail. Thread it through a tapestry needle. And simply remove all the loops from the pegs and place them on the tapestry needle. Three, all the way around. The last one. Now instead of pulling the item through the top, you are going to just pull it through the bottom. Set your knitting loom to the side. And here's your thumb. Pull on the stitches to set them. And now gather it close. Just like that. Perfect. Poke the needle through the wrong side, and just like you do in any other item, with the uh, with the tails through the back side of the item, and your mitten is done. And here is your finished mitten. This is the area where you picked up stitches, and then on the other side, also where you picked up stitches. This is where we had the e wrap stitches that we cast it on, and that is how you do. I'm missing.